A local man said to be the first person in Alabama to be sickle cell free. Yeah, Lindrick Holmes underwent gene therapy treatment for uh, at the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C. Our Tori Thornton here in studio with us. And Tori, this is life changing for Holmes. Yeah, it is, Byron and Lenise. Sickle cell is a blood cell disease that causes those who suffer from it a lot of pain. And Lindrick Holmes has had it all his life. And now that he's sickle cell free, he says he has 28 years to make up for. There's a renaissance in the Holmes household. Most of my life, all I knew was was how to to live under the radar. And now I'm, I'm figuring out what my wingspan is. Life as Lendrick Holmes knew it for 28 years is now over. He says he's reclaiming his time. I'm trying to take back everything that was taken. Holmes spent his life in a lot of pain. To be frank, hell, absolute other Hell, I don't even know how else to describe it. He vividly remembers this picture from his childhood. It shows him in a sickle cell crisis. Uh, we went to Bush Gardens and um, I was in a sickle cell crisis and I didn't want to ruin the fun for my little sister. So I kind of just like took the pain. Dr. Felicia Wilson with University Hospital explains how that pain feels. So if you can imagine when they put that tourniquet on to, or that cuff on to measure your blood pressure, what they do is collapse the blood vessels. So imagine if that stayed on and you couldn't get it off, how painful that would become. After a Google search and a few phone calls, Holmes took part in a clinical trial. He underwent gene therapy. It involved taking stem cells from his bone marrow, fixing the bad gene, and reinserting the cells. Not only is he sickle cell free, but Holmes says it's like he's been reborn. December 11th. 2018. That was the day that I was reborn. <laughs> they gave me the new cells that day, and um, and just so I'm I'm like cellularly like nine months old. Looking ahead, there's a lot of uncertainty for the Holmes family, but that's not a bad thing in this case. I want to um, be able to run a mile. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to just go and just just live. He wants his story to be a testament to others suffering with sickle cell. So this is bigger than me. And that's really what I just just come, what it comes down to. The more people know about it, the more opportunities there are for other people to be like me, sickle cell free. All right, and it can take several years to be considered cured of a disease, but there's no doubt this is exciting news for people who suffer from sickle cell. To learn more about sickle cell disease or gene therapy, go to our website, fox10tv.com.